me on the holidays. Um, I've actually come down to a camping site, it was a caravan camping site, in a place called North Berwick, and this is a beach called the Tintalan Beach. Well, this is one of the weird beaches, actually. I've climbed over past the golf course, came down one of the sort of sandy, treacherous walks down here, and I've ended up with the beach pretty much to myself, apart from some folks over there playing. As you notice, know, I've got a wee dog with me today, her name's Pip, and um, she's my auntie's dog, she's not mine, but she's gorgeous. And uh, she's had, having an absolute ball down here. She's just running about crazy and digging holes everywhere. So, yeah, today we're just down here for a wee scout. Obviously, the lighting's not ideal. Obviously, this place is pretty famous for um, a massive rock face called Bash Rock. And that's just further up the coast there. It's covered with these white birds. I think it's gannets, I'm not sure. Uh, and it's just a fantastic sight to see, especially when the sun hits it, it just glows white. It's amazing. So. I did manage to get a shot of that earlier on the walk down from a higher vantage point and uh, luckily for me there was a rainbow behind it so yeah I couldn't ask for any better. Quite nice conditions as well, let's just hope that I was using a 70 to 200 mil lens so let's just hope that it, it's not going to capture all the birds but it's certainly going to capture the sort of um, the rainbow and the beautiful lights that are surrounding it as well. So yeah I've just had down for a wee stoat. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to a place called Bellhaven Bay and everyone knows why I'm going there. That is for the very famously photographed um, bridge that goes to nowhere and I will be heading there just before high tides. I want to get a few different phases of the bridge um, with some water still sort of around it for some detail and obviously then completely submerged, well the path completely submerged. So the plan is to head there tomorrow. So just now I'm going to go for a wander down that end of the beach uh, where Bash Rock is, where the view of Bash Rock is. I found this, this is awesome. I don't know what it is. It's just obviously the colour of the water with all the barnacles and stuff on it. Um, this turned this a little bit orangey but yeah it looks awesome. So out for an explore and uh, yeah we're going to go further down the beach and see what else we can find but I'm already just soaking. I should have worn more appropriate <laughs> water gear. <laughs> in enough yet to get this shot but I can see a reflection here of that rock and it's been lit by the sun. It looks pretty cool. And the big one's been lit by the sun so I'm going to try and capture this one just now. Pip's going to help me out you Pip. Good job. So we're not allowed up there just now. Just fair enough. Pip's not allowed either, are you Pip? So the next bit is going to be tomorrow. We're going to go to Bellhead Bay and uh, shoot the bridge that goes to nowhere. I have done it before but it'll be interesting to see because I think it's going to be similar lighting to today. So very different. Um, but I might stick around to come back down here for sunset, I'm not sure. So yeah, let's go on to the next location. To day number two. This is a place called Seacliff and it's a very exclusive little beach. Um, there's a bit of a mud track so you have to go through a car park sort of token thing to get down here and then there's a, bit of a muddy track all the way down with the car and you know I don't have a 4 before, so I didn't enjoy that. But look how gorgeous this is. This is definitely Taps Aff weather in Scotland and it's 17 degrees but you'd be forgiven for thinking it was much much warmer just now in the water again as always so I've got a very specific shot in mind here obviously Bass Rock is just behind me but what I want to try and do is uh, try and get as low in the water as I can with it falling in so my phone my keys and stuff's so all in my camera bag which is further up there in the rock don't worry there's people watching it for me 
and I'm going to go in as far as I can. And the key here is all about compression, so I've got the big lens on just now, which you would never normally think to use that for seascapes, but I want to try and get as low as I can. And obviously this is perfect for surfing, because look at the waves, they're amazing. And I want to try and catch some of these breaking waves with the bass rock behind it. Ah! Uh, so I'm going to try and walk in as much as I can without droning. But I think the tide's coming in, so we've got that. But look at the size of these waves. Also, you've got the receding water as well. Yeah, we're going to try and get in as low as we can and get some spectacular shots. Even that water's just turquoise green. Look at that. That's just gorgeous. So now that I'm out of the water again, <laughs> Um, I went in probably about about 40 feet to try and get the shot. I definitely had the shot. What I wanted was just that uh, the waves crashing and creating some sort of foreground up to Bass Rock. Um, and these are just fantastic for waves. They're absolutely amazing. Not quite high, but high enough. I'd say they're about four feet high at some points. So yeah, really happy with the photo that I got. Um, I've also been taking some of those um, intentional camera movement shots, which seem to be very popular just now. Uh, and I'm not sure, sea is obviously the best place to try it because you've got a really nice gradient between the blue sky and then the turquoise water and the white waves so you can get some really beautiful colours. So what I did for those was I literally just um, set my camera f22 to get the longest exposure I could, which was about a sixth of a second, and then just quickly swept across the landscape to try and get a perfect line of colour. So I wouldn't know if, they're, if that's worked or not, but if any of them have worked then I'll post it here and let you have a look at it. So look at this. This is gorgeous. It's not a bad way to spend a Sunday. So the Bass Rock picture, um, I'll post that here as well, so you can have a look at that as well. So now that I've got these two shots in the bag, I'm going to have a wee wander up and down the coast, but I've definitely got two pictures from here that I'm really happy with. Let's crack on, have a wee look. So this is a place called Belhaven Bay and it is hoaching with folk. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, it's a beautiful day in Scotland and the weather's nice so fully expect that but it makes it very difficult to do any sort of photography or vlogging because they all look at you. But I did still manage to get a few pictures without anybody on the bridge which was great. Uh, the tide's not quite fully in yet so it's not the sort of completely submerged photo that I wanted but it's still quite cool. I've used this sort of leading path up to the bridge because um, you can just see it just barely visible through the water because it's not that deep yet, it's probably about ankle deep at the moment and I used the polarizer so you could actually cut through the layer from the sun hitting the water to try and see the path a little bit better so fingers crossed that's worked. If it has worked I'll post it here and let you have a look at it but yeah I'm going to go and just get a chippy as I always do and enjoy the rest of my Sunday and then head home. So it's been a really lovely relaxing a uh, couple of days away and I hope you've enjoyed today's video and if you like this video then like and subscribe and until next week I'll see you soon. Bye!